Yo, what's up guys? It's Frankie Nuts here. Today my new record with Jaws got released. It's called Dare For You from this uh, EP Dangerous Waters. And usually when I release a track I'll just post it out there and I'm always a little bit quiet. But for this re record I thought it was really cool to talk about how it got to be because it was a really interesting story. Because um, yeah, I was doing a show, I think it was Romania. Um, I saw I got a message from Jaws and he said, yeah dude, I'm playing Tomorrowland. And he was like, yo, do you want to come hang around? Uh, I just discovered your music and I think it's super dope and you know, let's hang out and maybe we can even make some music. So obviously I was like, holy shit, yeah dude, let's do it. So I sent him a message and wrote to him like, yeah, of course, uh, I can come over whenever. And then I didn't get any reply and I texted him six, seven, eight times I didn't get any reply. Sent messages to his label, to his management, nobody replied and I was a bit like, ah shit. No, it's such a good opportunity because he really is one of my idols. I really wanted to work with him and um, now that I got a chance to work with him and he asked me, he doesn't reply. So then my management came and he was like, yo, in the same weekend as Tomorrowland he's playing Perucoville, Germany. And my management is from Germany, so they were like, yeah, we, we can't get you like artist tickets, but we at least can get you into the festival, so like a regular ticket. I was like, okay, fuck it, let's, let's just go. So I booked the train, and booked the hotel. I went to Perucoville without having any clue of even being able to meet him. And we were there in the afternoon, just waiting next to the stage for the right moment until he came up on stage so we could ask him like, hey dude, we're here. Uh, and then I met Eptic and I know Eptic for a while because I used to book him like back in the days when I did my events and he wasn't that big yet. So I shouted to him and was like, yo dude, and he was like, hey Ranky, what's up? So he's like, yo, uh, why are you there? Like, come come with us. And I was like, no, I don't have a artist wrist brand. So he took me with, uh, with him and we sneaked into the backstage. And there he was, Joss, and um, so yeah, we had a we had a chat, and we talked a bit about music and stuff. And then he was like, "Yo, dude, if you if you like, uh, I'm playing one of your records tonight. You can jump on stage." So um, morale of the story is like, I didn't have any clue of being able to meet him. I had no idea what I was doing, and just because I wanted it that bad, I went to the festival. Sneaked into the backstage, I got to meet him, and that same night I was on the stage with him in front of 10,000 people while he performed my track. And ever since we got in contact, I got his phone number, and we started working on the track. That's like two and a half years ago now, and now it's finally done, so I'm super happy with the final product. And yeah, let me know what you think. Drop down, drop down, drop down. Yeah.